All right, today I'm going to show you how you can draw a polygon on Google My Maps. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to google.com slash my maps. And google.com slash my maps takes you here. I'm going to log in with my personal account. All right, if you already have a map, you can click open map. If you need to create one, just create a new map. By default, it's going to show me where I am. And then in three, two, one. I'm going to go here. We're going to do a fun lesson on creating, um, whatchamacallit, on showing just how large Greenland is or isn't. Dun, dun, dun. Greenland size. So right here, I'm naming the map Greenland size. I'm going to click Save. Then I'm just going to zoom out. I could even click in here and type in Greenland. And it'll fly me to Greenland. Whenever this little green guy comes up, I'm just going to say, mm, no, and then I can just X out of there. All right. So right now, I am going to draw a shape around Greenland to show what the size is, and then we're going to compare the size to other parts of the world. So to draw, I need my drawing tool, which is right here. I have the option to add a line or shape add a driving route, biking, or walking route. Um, what I want to do here is actually draw a shape because if I add a route, the route is going to be open-ended. So there's going to be a starting point and an ending point, and the two are not going to be the same. Um, versus with drawing a shape, you have to draw a closed figure. So when I get this um, plus sign right here, I can click. And I can make this as precise as I want to, or I can make it as loosey-goosey as I want to. Um, the cool thing about this is that you can actually go back and change what you've traced after you've traced it. So this is really cool because this could be a really fun lesson on geography, but then also on math, particularly in geometry. So you have a sphere, and there's something on top of the sphere, and the thing that's on the top of the sphere looks really large. But when you move that thing to another part of the sphere, you see what size it is. So right here, I'm going to call this Greenland. And as soon as I click Save, it's going to tell me what the area is, and it's going to tell me what the perimeter is. So another good math integration here. Okay, now what I can do is I can style it, which means that I can say, okay, Greenland, let's just be funny and make it green. And then I can change the transparency to make that green a lot darker. I can also change the border width, okay, just by moving that. When I'm all done, I just click the X right here. If I wanted to, I could uh, write a description here talking about the size of Greenland or what you can find in there, and then hit Save. I could also add a video or a picture, and it could be um, something that's online. It could also be a YouTube video, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm all done with this. Now what? Oh, now I totally forgot that I went in too far. So these little circles here, I can click, hold, and drag in, and it'll actually change the shape of my polygon. So I'm going to click, and then I'm going to drag this out. Okay. Now let's say that it's perfect. I want to do a double click, and then when I have those circles all around, so let's do that one more time. Double click in the shape. You have the circles on the perimeter here. You want to click, hold, and drag to some other part of the world. So let's put it in Africa and see what happens. Let's move it over to India. And oh my goodness, India is larger than Greenland. So notice how when it moves around the map, it actually changes its size. That's because when it's on the map, it's on a sphere. 
and its size will reflect the, its actual size in comparison to its location. So that is how you make a polygon on Google My Maps.